empty hand first. Then we're going to immediately pick it up again. I'll start showing the variations. You will pick up the sabaton first. Then we will use insert the li ulium. <laughs> you should have weapons that work with what you do. Realize that. In combat, you don't want so many weapons. Every time you pick up another weapon, you've got to change some kind of style or whatever. No. In combat, you want to pick up any weapon you have that's your weapon, know it intimately, and be able to do the same thing with it. As a lever, watch my footwork. I've snug up to him. I take him and push his head and step back. Okay? Because I have his fingers in my hand, and because we're a bladed arm, I'm going to break his fingers. Before I go to the finish, I want to break each finger of his. Or I want to split them with my favorite split here, where it tears the hand this way. Okay? Whether I have one hand on him or not, I might split him on my body. But you can rest assured before I go to the next technique, I'm going to rip his fingers from here to here. You guys got that? Sir. One more time. Hey. Got like That's why I touched it lightly there. <laughs> <laughs> no cup, okay? No cup. Oh, you got enough kids. No. <laughs> so, all right, so here I am, okay? So what I want you to understand is that I want you to be in this position. I want to manipulate Aaron's arm. Okay. I want to smack his ear or his face or his eyes, lean him out. Now, I see that some people are having a difficulty with the step. <coughs> Excuse me. So the guy is rooting here. So I want you to do this. Excuse me. Okay. No breaking. Man, yeah. Push this out and turn it. The throw is not here. Oh, it's Good to see you. 
That's my younger brother, Fred, and Bird, and my nephew, Freddie. Big hand for them guys came out here. From so, smack the back of the head. That's the knockout right there. The pass is here. He's trapped. I'm not worried about him cutting him. Cutting him, West. Shoot. You see me hit him? I'm going to pull him in with the elbow hit. Wes is going to check my knee. I come here and hook him. Break the arm, break the arm. He's, he doesn't let go of Break it. I don't hurt each other. But you, I want you to know you're not going to be able to hang on to that blade. But don't think that when he puts his hand up here that I can't turn it because this is the turn. See it across his neck? Doesn't matter how strong he is. Watch it, get the camera on his neck. Where's the blade? So he thinks that because he's drifting up here, that's going to save it. But it won't. See him come down? There's the shot. Just in case. Okay, just in case he's messing around. See where my finger is on his eyeball? And I'm just going to take that eye. See me controlling the hand? I don't care. He can hold on to the blade. I don't care what he does with the blade. It doesn't matter. All this doesn't matter. Yeah, you don't want that. Okay? Nope, don't mess around. <laughs> don't mess around. Because I'll go this way up, excuse me. I got him there. What you know? I hope you got that one, Chester. <laughs> So as I got here, yeah, yeah, I showed you off balance and stuff. You know, you can step into me all you want. He can step, I don't care if you don't have a good If you got a good shoulder, you still want to work this thing out. Master Nance, why, why is this technique so effective? Why is it so effective? Uh -huh. Because I'm controlling the opponent uh -huh. from the very start. Uh -huh. Redirecting and controlling the opponent. Once he makes the initial attack, well, I'm just defending myself. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one, this don't do it. This does. This one. Once I get here, he was trying to do it. And my wrist up here, twist my wrist. Come to this line here and drop it. If he goes to this side, I just break his whole arm. Yeah, sorry. Just break it in half. Yes. See the blade come out? Feel it? So watch now. He's not going to do that. Where you turn your head? Now I break my neck. But I want to stab him in the ear. I want to cut him anywhere I want to cut him. Okay? But this is control. He can't, can you move? Yeah. Same thing, it doesn't matter. Cut his thumb off now. Yeah. Now his thumb, his finger, every, I don't want him to do what? Pick his weapon back up. Perfect. Switch. Switch. There you go. Impossible. There you go. See how you use the blade? Blade through tool. There you go. Perfect. But once I get him, okay? See me peel him? See me extend him? He's there. Now he's not. So I cut him and switch. As I come up, this is the cut. I break him, cut him, extend his body forward, see it? Now I pull him back, cut him, cut straight up through his neck, twice. Brain stem him. Scoop him this way, put the blade under here. He's on my knee so you know it's not a fluke. Stab back down into the ear wherever you want. <laughs> you might be able to take it, but 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 remember, this is it, just to turn your head. That's all you want to do is turn the head. So when you when you turn the head, all this becomes a little it doesn't take much this here for that right here. So the feet come in. You didn't see that. Okay? The feet come in. Okay. So if you get in good range of me and you come in on it, but I'm still. I wouldn't just
just stop with this. It's got the other stuff going on. But right now, we're on the basic game. And we have to go slow so you can learn what's different about it. If you try to speed it up now, then we have to do something different. And it's not going to be not going to get the basic and crystal. So I'm, I'm going to do a Kung Tao root from Uncle Willem. And I'm going to break his whole arm and shoulder at that point, here. Now when I break him here, I slap him. He's not going to take it. He's going to turn his head. I go for the neck break. I step through here, break him. See me there? I let him go, but I gank him that way. These are Sassoons. These are Sundanese weapons. I learned from Uncle Willem, Jim Ingram, Herman Swanda. Everyone in that fights West Java style knows these weapons. These are Sasuks. So how are they used, you know? One is short. One, if you notice, one is longer than the other. These are very expensive and very thin. But notice when I hit him in his ear, look at where the other end of the point happens to miraculously. And uh, when I hit him here, look at where the point at, it slides, it rotates. I punch him, I go up, I slide in here. So let's just go to the first movement. So here, instead of hitting here, I hit him right through his elbow. Okay, give me that bone. It's designed, no matter how big your arms are, to penetrate that bone. Can you see it come through there? Okay. All right. But find out, West Auto, where it fits in. Where, it's, where does it fit in? Manny, where does it go? Keep around right where you put it in. We do not have to be the same because we are not the same. 
The only thing you have to know is if we're all human, and when I cut you, you all keep the same color. That's how we're saying the skin color. Can I rip that off? All the muscles are under your face and your jaw look the same. When you pull this covering off, we're all the same. But the most important thing is, is if we are diverse. And that's what should bind us together. That separates a lot of people. You can't be the same. I don't want to be the same. I don't want you to be a clone of mine. I want you to be yourself. It's much easier to be yourself. But take what I give you and fit it in. That's your job. To fit it in. And I like to say, if it wasn't for Michael Weed and Phil G, I wouldn't be here. Big hand. <laughs>